Shepherd, Texas, a small city in southeast Texas with a population of around 2,300. It is the 642nd most populated city in the state of Texas. Once a center of lumber at a port of the Trinity River, it still remains an important market town of southeast Texas. The railroad also played a big role in this city, especially the Union Pacific. Unfortunately, one day it changed this town for years to come. This is the story of the Shepherd Train Collision. On September 15, 2005, Union Pacific local LEF-52 was waiting on the main track at Shepherd, preparing to head north. The train was led by two GP40-2s. One was UP-1385, a former cotton belt engine, and UP-1458, another former cotton belt diesel, and 16 grain cars. The train pulled into the siding to wait for Union Pacific Manifest train Q-PBSR to pass. The train had three engines. Leading was NSC 40-9W 9669, UPSC 70M 5017, and finally NSSC 70 2559, pulling 116 different types of cars. 61 of those cars were tankers filled with hazardous materials. The conductor for the train had lined the north siding switch so the manifest could pass through the siding. Then the local went into the siding, but the switch wasn't realigned. The manifest was coming down the Lufkin subdivision when it suddenly swerved into the siding that the local was parked in, and then... The manifest collides with the local at 2.15 a.m., 50 miles north of Houston. It was doing around 40 miles an hour when it hit the local. The engineer of the local was killed while the other crew members suffered injuries. 1385 was completely destroyed. 1458 had his radiator slammed in by the lead engine. 9669 had suffered little damage, 5017 and 2559 remained on the track and didn't receive any damage. 11 of PBSR's cars derailed, one tank car ruptured and released 10 gallons of methyl isobutyl ketone. 500 people living in the area were evacuated. The accident caused more than $1 million in damage. The NTSB found the cause of the wreck to be a misaligned switch that the conductor was supposed to realign at the north end of the siding for the manifest. After the crew of the local train had finished their job, a limousine was sent to pick them up and take them to Lufkin, Texas. Meanwhile, the train acquired a new crew of an engineer, a pilot engineer, and conductor. The pilot engineer got out to inspect the manifest going by. The conductor also got out to do the same, but saw the manifest was entering the siding. He told the engineer to get out, but was too late. After the accident, investigators found that the switch was still lined for the siding and that although the lock had been applied to the switch, it was still unlocked and held the keys belonging to the original conductor of the local train. Because of this, it is likely that the original conductor of the train had not relined the switch. The crash is similar to the Graniteville wreck in January when an NS manifest collided with an NS local. In the end, 1385 was totally mutilated. 1458 was repaired, repainted, and returned to service. 9669, 5017, and 2559 were returned to service. Although, even though Shepard doesn't see or hear many monumental events as other cities, this is one event that the people of Shepard will never forget.